Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements for other healthcare practitioners, use toxic pharmaceutical drugs, and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the bright side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, from hypertension, from obesity, from skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We love hearing from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products or skin health products in general, skin health formulations, skin issues, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please head over to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with generous amounts of fat-soluble vitamin C. Our Truth Retinol 5% Gel is made with 5% retinol, as well as vitamin C. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, silicon, oil, propylene glycol, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. If you want to purchase any of our longevity products, head to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-735. 2470 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business or you can just purchase products by calling 866-735-2470 or, or off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking about progesterone and estrogen and ways that you can balance out estrogen if you're on hormone replacement therapy, if you're on the birth control pill. In our last program, we left off talking about the distinction between progesterone that's real and progestins, which are drug company versions of this natural hormone progesterone, this benign and gentle and super beneficial hormone, progesterone. We said the term progestin refers to a substance that is a drug, more drug than hormone. It's completely synthetic. It has a different structure than progesterone, even though it has some progesterone-like effects. The problem with progestins is they're toxic and very toxic, like all drugs are toxic. This one is, uh, this class of drugs, progestins, are especially toxic. There's lots of different progestins. There's only one progesterone, but there's lots of different progestins, and they all come with side effects, including cancer, and they're not exactly the same. Well, they have some of the same effects as progesterone, but they're nowhere near the same in terms of the benign and non-toxic nature of progesterone. Progesterone's got lots of incredible benefits, relaxation, balancing out the toxic effects of estrogen. At menopause, progesterone levels drop steeply, and while hormone replacement therapy typically will focus on estrogen, it's really progesterone that is the hormone that is most significantly affected by the aging process. If you are on estrogen replacement therapy, and that includes, by the way, birth, the birth control pill, which isn't hormone replacement therapy, but it is hormone therapy. If you're on the pill or if you're on uh, estrogen replacement therapy, 
You want to protect yourself from estrogen dominance or estrogen toxicity. And this is true also if you're dealing with an autoimmune disease or if you're dealing with some of the inflammatory effects of estrogen. Remember, it's not estrogen per se that is causing the problem. It is the toxic byproducts or so-called catechol estrogens that really is behind a lot of the issues associated with estrogen toxicity. If this sounds familiar, if you're dealing with infertility issues, endometriosis, blood clotting, autoimmunity, premenstrual syndrome, if you suspect that you have problems with estrogen toxicity, if you're worried about exposure to foreign estrogens from plastics, xenoestrogens, if you're eating a lot of soy, which contains xenoestrogens, focus on your digestive system. This should come as no surprise to anybody listening to this program. Remember, it's intestinal problems and liver problems that are behind much of the toxicity that, are associ that is associated with catechol or breakdown products of estrogen. Under ideal or healthy conditions, estrogen will be cleared out of the body through bowel movements, through the bowels, through, in through the intestine. Estrogen is combined with bile, estrogen as combined with fiber from the gut, bacteria in the intestine can convert estrogens into non less toxic byproducts. I don't want to say non-toxic, but less toxic byproducts. So focus on the digestive system. Of course, this makes perfect sense if you understand our triangle of disease. Remember, the digestive system is the first point of disease. It's the first point on our triangle of disease. Second point on the triangle of disease is blood sugar. And you're going to want to work with your blood sugar and insulin levels also. There's a, a very important relationship between blood sugar, insulin, and estrogen toxicity. And likewise, on the adrenal glands. This is your triangle of disease. The digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal thyroid complex. If you want to just focus on one thing, however, focus on the digestive system. Work on the liver, especially. If you're on hormone replacement therapy, focus on the liver. If you're on the birth control pill, focus on the liver. If you're dealing with autoimmune disease, focus on the liver. If you're dealing with PMS or, or blood clotting issues or infertility issues, all of which are associated with catechol or toxic estrogens, Focus on the liver. Remember, this is the main organ for clearing out estrogen. It's the main organ for clearing out lots of things. We have 100 million Americans with fatty liver disease that we know about. That's one out of three of us has fatty liver disease. And if you're on a prescription drug, it's worse. If you're drinking a lot of alcohol, it's worse. If you're smoking cigarettes, it's worse. Doctors don't tell you about this when they put you on prescription drugs. They don't tell you it's going to stress out your liver. Prescription drugs are cleared out by the liver. And if you have fatty liver disease and you're on prescription drugs, you're going to be in big trouble. If you have fatty liver disease and you're on prescription drugs and you're dealing with estrogen, uh, estrogen toxicity, you're going to be even in bigger trouble. And nobody ever thinks of looking at this. Patients just being put on estrogen replacement, so-called bioidentical, or even pharmaceutical, either way, if you're on estrogen replacement therapy, make sure your liver is healthy enough to clear out the estrogen. Same is true about the intestine. If you're dealing with leaky gut syndrome, the likelihood of estrogen toxicity goes up. If you're dealing with dysbiosis, that is messed up gut bacteria, the likelihood for estrogen toxicity likewise goes up. And everybody is dealing with dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria. Almost everybody is dealing with leaky gut syndrome, especially if you have some kind of disease state. This is the first point on the triangle of disease. It makes perfect sense. If some doctor is putting you on HRT, make sure you're using probiotics. Make sure that you're uh, using uh, fermented foods, eating fermented foods. Make sure that you're not taking antibiotics. The combination of taking antibiotics and putting on HRT is a recipe for disaster. If you're on hormone replacement therapy and then you get an antibiotic, now you've upped the likelihood, increased the likelihood of catechol estrogens and estrogen toxicity. Use probiotics. Everybody needs to use probiotics, but especially if you are on hormone replacement therapy. If you have any digestive health issues, if you have constipation, gas, bloating, if you had a gallbladder removed, if you're doing anything that taxes the liver, you're the likely, and you're on HRT, the likelihood of problems, big problems, because estrogen toxicity can be fatal, goes up. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this. Don't go away. Right 
side, 8442366010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, estrogen, progesterone, hormone replacement therapy, if you're dealing with estrogen toxicity or you want to prevent estrogen toxicity, we can help you out. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you out as well. 8442366010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got the news articles, blog posts, as well as the Longevity articles. You can also search for various subject matter, various topics that we've discussed on the Bright Side over the last five plus years or six plus years of doing the program. We've got archives at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. Uh, we've got archives up at uh, on both Ben Fuchs archives and brightsideben.com. Also search engines on both websites. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, if you're dealing with aging skin or acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation, if you're looking for skin uh, skin care products that are really skin health products, if you don't want preservatives in your skin health products, if you don't want fillers and waxes and water, if you don't want to pay for water, 90% of most skin care products is water. You're paying for tap water. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want surfactants and oil and propylene glycol in your skin health products, if you want instant effects and you want long-term effects and you want vitamins and high amounts of vitamin C and vitamin A, you want our Truth Skin Health products. I formulated them for you. I formulated them for savvy clients who don't want to have to buy the same crapola that unsavvy or unsophisticated consumers buy. You want to look at our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All our products will last you three or four or five or six months. Our Truth Retinol 5% gel can last up to a year when used as directed. And it will cause some exfoliation and some peeling. So be prepared for that after your skin peels off, after it exfoliates away. You will have nice, beautiful, fresh, youthful skin. Underneath the, the flakiness is beautiful skin that will appear after a couple of days of skin flakiness. TruthTreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, as well as Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Okay, so if you're on hormone replacement therapy, or you're thinking about hormone replacement therapy, or you're on the birth control pill, or if the doctor has given you uh, estrogen for endometriosis, or sometimes they'll give you uh, estrogen uh, birth control pill or estrogen replacement for acne, which is silly, Re really dumb actually. You want to protect yourself from estrogen toxicity. There's lots of ways to do it. We're going to talk about some nutrients that'll help you. We'll talk about some vitamins. We'll talk about some minerals that'll help you. But first thing, you've got to focus on your digestive system. If you're dealing with digestive health issues and you're on hormone replacement therapy, the likelihood of toxicity increases dramatically. If you've had your gallbladder removed, if you're doing stuff, uh, doing things that tax your liver, eating lots of sugar, drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, you're on other prescription drugs, you're taking antibiotics, the likelihood of hormone toxicity from HRT will be increased. Your doctor will not tell you about this. Most doctors will not tell you about this. They either don't know, they don't care, they don't think it's important, but most people on hormone replacement therapy are not aware that anything you do to tax the liver or for that matter the intestine is going to increase the likelihood of toxicity from your HRT. So make sure you're focusing on the liver, make sure you're focusing on the digestive system, stay away from problem foods, use probiotics, eat fermented foods, use vegetable juices, take a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with your meals, use bile salts. Remember it is bile that is uh, that the body uses to deactivate and eliminate your estrogen. If you're on a statin drug, and you're taking hormone replacement therapy, that will suppress bile secretion. Bile comes from cholesterol, folks. If you're taking a statin drug, this can co potentially deplete bile because bile comes from cholesterol. Just another reason to stay away from statin drugs. Use uh, your ultimate enzymes if you're on HRT. Uh, your ultimate enzymes contain bile salts. Make sure you're eating fiber. You'll get fiber from vegetable juices. I like grinding up fiber and uh, grinding up flax seeds in a coffee grinder to make fiber. Make a fiber pudding with almond, with unsweetened almond milk and fiber. We've talked about this before. Just putting fiber in water. Just take a couple of tablespoons, three tablespoons of flaxseed fiber. Grind it up in a coffee grinder. Put it in a glass of water. Stir it up and 
can drink it down once a day. It'll keep you regular. It'll help prevent estrogen toxicity. It's a good source of protein. It's a good source of omega-3 fats. It's a good source of hormone-like substances called lignans. I mean, it's almost endless, the benefits from something as simple as flax seeds. It'll cost you a dollar a pound for that. That means 10 cents for uh, 10 cents, a penny for a teaspoon. A dollar a pound works out to about a penny for a teaspoon. That's amazing. A penny for a teaspoon of flaxseed of flax fiber. Three cents for a tablespoon of flat ground of flaxseed fiber. Ten cents for three tablespoons of flaxseed fiber, and it's a great source of protein and, and helps you detoxify from estrogen. You can use chia seeds. You can grind up almonds. I like flax seeds because it's a good source of protein, and flax contains the lignans, which can support estrogen metabolism. Then there's the minerals and the vitamins and other essential nutrients that support estrogen metabolism. And one of my all-time favorite nutrients, period, uh, not just for helping balance out estrogen, but just my, one of my all-time favorite nutrients is vitamin E. Now, we talk about it periodically on this program. I don't think we talk about it anywhere near enough because there's so many other things to talk about. But vitamin E is phenomenally important. And one of the things that's, that makes vitamin E so important in the world of nutrition is that it's not really found in very many foods. And when it is found in foods, it's not found in very high quantities. Your best sources of vitamin E are going to be grains and seeds and oils. A wheat germ oil, sunflower oil, those are probably the best sources of vitamin E. But then, of course, then you got to deal with oils uh, and wheat germ oil and, uh, and uh, sunflower oil and safflower oil. These are very, very unstable oils. So if you're going to do oils to get your vitamin E, and I don't recommend that you do, but if you are, make sure your wheat germ oil, your sunflower or safflower oil is kept in the fridge and that you're using it fresh. But I still don't like using those oils because they are unstable. I like oils in general. I don't have a big problem with oils if they're fresh and they're kept cold and they're kept in a dark, uh, dark place. But it's still not a great idea to use a lot of oils, aside from coconut oil and, um, and butter. Nature uses vitamin E to protect its fats. Interestingly, refined oils, the kind of oils that we get in the supermarket, those don't have the vitamin E. It's only going to be unrefined oils that have vitamin E. Nature uses vitamin E. Wherever there's fat, you're going to find vitamin E. So the best sources, the best food sources of vitamin E are going to be high-fat foods, but you're only going to find really small amounts of vitamin E. You're not going to get the good doses that you need. The good news is supplements are readily available and very inexpensive. You can get a 400, a, a 400 international unit dose. That's a, that's a standard dose, 400 IU. Uh, you can get a 400 IU dose for a couple of pennies a day. You can use more than 400 IU. There's no toxicity to vitamin E. If you use too much, you may get some diarrhea or some, some loose stools, but you have to take a lot for a long period of time for that to occur. I've been using high doses of vitamin E to accelerate the healing of wounds. We've talked about that uh, before on this program. I've seen dramatic results for wound healing from using 1,200 international units a day for three or four or five days. There's no toxicity to vitamin E, although, as I say, you don't want to use too much for too long a period of time. However, when it comes to estrogen, there is an amazingly important relationship between vitamin E and estrogen balancing. We will talk about that as we continue on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Bright side. I am Farm Suspend. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. <clears throat> Excuse me, 24 7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Got a couple stories here, and then we'll get to your phone calls. 844 236 6010 is our number from, uh, let's see here, we're going to talk about this tomorrow about vitamin E and diabetes. This is from the journal, this is from researchers in New Zealand. This is published in the journal Diabetes Care. A daily dose of vitamin E may help delay the onset of type 2 diabetes in overweight adults at high risk of the disease. Uh, quote from the researchers, Dr. David, Dr. Patrick Manning and colleagues at the University of Otago in Dunedin, I think that's how you say it, New Zealand, Quote, these results suggest that vitamin E could have a role to play in delaying the onset of diabetes in at-risk individuals, unquote. We will be discussing this tomorrow 
uh, the importance of vitamin E for dealing with diabetes and blood sugar issues. More diabetes news, or more vitamin E news, <coughs> excuse me, from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases. Vitamin E may decrease the risk of acute kidney injury after coronary catheterization. Contrast medium kidney injury. This is a type of kidney injury. Uh, I'm sorry, contrast medium-induced kidney injury. That's a kind of injury that follows hospitalization and catheter catheterization from heart disease. It's the third most frequent cause of hospital-induced acute, hospital-acquired acute kidney injury. And it turns out that vitamin E may actually be helpful for this. Three vitamin E trials uh, that were carried out in Thailand and Iran showed that vitamin E may have benefits for folks who are dealing with this kind of kidney injury. Just to show you, this is, it hasn't, it's not just folks who are having coronary catheterization that are going to benefit from vitamin E. Vitamin E is a protective vitamin from injury. It's a protective vitamin from oxidation. It's a protective vitamin for folks who are dealing on, with hormone replacement therapy. It's just a protective vitamin. And it's one of those vitamins, as I said before, that's hard to find in foods. 400 international units a day, folks, of vitamin E will cost you three cents, five cents. It's crazy not for everybody not to be supplementing with this really important nutrient. We'll be talking about this a lot tomorrow. All right, 844 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let us go to Wes in Idaho. Good morning, Wes. Welcome to The Bright Side. Hello, Ben. I wanted to draw attention to the oldest living person in the world. There's uh, Emma Mor Morano, a Italian woman, is 117 years wow. old. They figure she's eaten 100,000 raw eggs. And it says here she was eating very little fruit and vegetables her Interesting. whole life. Uh, you know, I get tired of listening to vegans say this is the only way to eat. It's almost yeah. like a, a, a dealing with a Muslim that wants to cut your head off because <sighs> uh, you're eating bacon or, or uh, pork. Uh, would you like to comment I on I will this? comment on that. Absolutely, I'll comment that. How do you know she's a, how, has been, a lot of times people will say that they're 117, 120, 125, but there's no birth certificate or, or documentation. Is this documented? Well, yeah, I, I'm reading what I see here in the Internet. She's been around a long time. I guess she was born in 1899. She is credited with being the oldest person in the world. And looking at her picture, she's she probably looks like real it. close <laughs> to that. Okay, all right. I got you. Well, thank you for your call, Wes. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I agree with you. Veganism, militant vegans. I got a problem with militant vegans. There's so many wonderful, wonderful nutritional compounds found in animal products. From a philosophical standpoint, I don't like killing Bambi or killing animals, but that's just the way the food chain works. We did, I didn't invent the food chain. Animals eat other animals, and that's just how it is. Human beings are omnivores. They are designed to eat anything. Meat, they're designed to eat vegetables. We are designed to eat whatever is there. We're opportunistic eaters. And meat and animal products contain incredibly valuable, incredibly important nutritional compounds, particularly in what, what is what I call the cholesterol complex. The cholesterol complex is a, a, is a group of nutrients that are found in animal products and in dairy and in eggs and meat, etc particularly organ meats. The cholesterol complex contains cholesterol, it contains lecithin, it contains vitamin A, it contains vitamin D, it contains vitamin K, and these are substances that are very hard to find. Well, no, they're impossible to find. They're not found in vegan or vegetable foods. They're only found in animal foods. So if you're a vegetarian, or if, I should say if you're a vegan, if you're a vegetarian, you can get them from dairy and eggs. But if you're a vegan, you're going to miss out on these very important substances. And I, it, plant vitamin A is not the same as regular vitamin A. So beta carotene for you vegans is not vitamin A. And of course, you're not going to be able to get vitamin D, although you can get that from the sun. You're not going to be able to get cholesterol. You're not going to be able to get vitamin K very effectively. You can still do it, but it just takes a lot of work. You got to focus a lot on what you're eating, and it's just difficult to do. So for vegans out there, I am sorry to say 
it's just going to be really tough to get everything that you need from vegan foods. Um, and thanks for sharing that with us, uh, with, Wes, with us, Wes from Idaho. Appreciate it. All right, let's go to Alaska and welcome our friend Elaine to the Bright Side. Good morning, Elaine. How you doing? Good morning. How are you? I am good. Nice to talk to you. What's going on today? Uh, yeah, i am uh, just maybe wondering if you could have a to start a little conversation on. Uh, I've started selling the. Uh, I joined your team and started selling the. Oh, nice. Green. Um, but you know, I'm not a, a by nature a salesperson. I'm by nature. Okay. A but you're so by nature when, a helper, right? Uh, well, yes. You right. like to help people. That's why you're a therapist. You like to help right. people. And I feel like I'm doing a disservice to my clients if I don't at least have this to offer. That's how I look at it. That's exactly. I'm not a salesperson either, but I feel like it's a disservice not to right. at least offer or tell people about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That you're, you're looking at it exactly the right way, in my opinion. I don't like people selling me anything. I don't like to be sold, and I don't like being a salesperson. But the results that I've seen from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, I was just talking to my friend MZ in Santa Cruz about this uh, over the weekend. I was telling him, you know, I didn't engage in longevity for a long time. I, I participated because I loved Dr. Wallach. I loved his message. But I didn't engage in the business for a long time. But I kept seeing the results that people got from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I kept seeing the blood pressure drop and the, and the weight come off and the people getting off their medication from getting on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine in addition to other longevity products. And as a helper, as a therapist myself, as somebody who w was interested in healing in the healing business, I could not tell people about the BTT, and that's the exact way that you want to look at this. You don't necessarily need to draw, you know, do a hard sell on people. Just present it as an option. And when you look at it from a scientific standpoint, from a, uh, a formulation standpoint, what are, you, what are we talking about with the BTT? We're talking about high concentrations of liquid nutrition for a reasonable price. And if I could direct you to a health food store to get something like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, I would do that. But there is nothing like Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Tangerine. There are no products like that. There's some that are similar, perhaps, but there's nothing quite like the BTT, and that's how you want to look at it. Elaine, you're, you're right on. Offer it as an option. As a therapist, you can't not offer it as an option. Hang on, Elaine. we got to take a break, and then I'll let you finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We've got a line open for you at 844-236-6010. We'll be back after this. Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Talk to Elaine in Alaska. Did that make sense how I explained that, Elaine? Yes. You, it, yeah, that, it, did I answer your question, or did you have anything else you want to add? Yeah, well, just, you know, when I'll get back, well, oh, I'm taking a, a multivitamin already. I'm fine. No, thanks. Like, well, you know, if people are fine, you don't, you don't want to push anything on anybody. If they're fine, they're fine. I, I beg to differ for a couple of reasons. First of all, the nutri nutrient density in the BTT is such that you're not going to get those kinds of nutrients or in, in those quantities in a multivitamin. Also, we all know about the problem with absorption of multivitamins. The multivitamin's got to be crushed up in the digestive system. It requires stomach acid. It requires uh, uh, intestinal absorption. Liquids are always the best way to go. Uh, so if, if they were happy with their multivitamin, they're happy with it. This is only for folks who want to add to their nutritional supplement program or who are not feeling as well as they think they could be when they're on their nutritional supplement program or who, uh, who want to use liquid nutrition. I, I'm a big believer in liquid nutrition, whether it's soups or juices or smoothies or the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. But if they don't want it, they don't want it. Okay, and just a quick update on the, I'm using your Truth products. And, yes. Um, I've, got, I've got kind of this, um, oh, like a little lesion uh, in that kind of the supraclavicular area. That where, might, where is the supraclavicular like area? Above, on your shoulder? Clavicle, yeah. Okay, like got it. Okay. Shoulder that my esthetician said, she gave it some kind of long name, I, I, I don't know, medical term, said, oh, there's nothing I can really do for that. Yeah. You know, from an esthetician standpoint. So I've been using the the retinol. Yeah, on, on the lesion? Yeah, like... Is it literally so a wound, like? What do you mean by lesion? Oh, it's like, I don't... It's not a mole. Uh, you know, I'm like, ooh, is this skin cancer? But she said, no, it's... I can't remember what she called it. Is it a... Da it's not damage to this. It's not... A le lesion is damage, like injury or something like that. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's not a mole, but it's like this raised area that got me okay. concerned. Is this okay. some kind of melanoma? 
You okay? And she said no. So I've been putting it on that um, little whatever it is, and yeah. it's, it's about half, half gone. That's awesome. That's that's typically what retinol will do, and and it could very well be a mole or you know or precancerous. And retinol is used is used that way. The problem with most retinol products is nobody has a five percent retinol because retinol can be so darn irritating. But as you know, if you've used our Truth Retinol five percent gel, the irritation is definitely definitely less than you would get from any other retinol product. So thank you for sharing that. Appreciate it, Elaine. Thank I'm glad you. you're enjoying my Truth Skin Health products. Have a beautiful day. All right, thanks. All right, okay, bye. take care. Bye-bye. Truth Skin Health products are available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, including our retinol 5% gel. Okay, let's move on to Alan in Santa Cruz. Good morning, Alan. How you doing, buddy? Hi, doing good. Um, I got a question regarding uh, potential side effects I'm experiencing. I'm on uh, levothyroxine. Okay. Um, I'm also on zeprazidone, sertraline, okay. Oh my goodness. And uh, Zoloft. Did you I say mean, citrulline Zoloft, uh, or sertraline? Sertraline. Okay. Um, and uh, um, uh, also on uh, Losartan for oh my, my high blood pressure. Oh my, yeah. Are you military by any chance? Um, uh, yeah, it's post traumatic stress. Post traumatic so, stress, okay. Yeah, so here's my question. I just started a BTT. Um, what I've been experiencing lately are um, real heavy uh, head sweats just around my head and neck um, that happens with very little movement. Um, like I could just start doing the dishes, and after about the third dish, I'll just start profusely sweating. How's your sleep? How's your sleep, Alan? Um, the Oh, I'm also on uh, Trazodone, which helps okay. my sleep. If you weren't I on the Trazodone. terrible sleep. Yeah, I was going to say. Terrible. It sounds like your your uh, sympathetic nervous system is jacked up. Here's a couple things for you. Uh, the medication is it, it's not going to help you, put it that way, although it may help you symptomatically. You want to make sure that you're getting enough B vitamins. Um, and that you'll get those okay. from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I would be using melatonin every uh, every night, not just for helping. I just helping started that. Good for you. You might also want to throw in some GABA, G-A-B-A, and I would also get some lithium orotate and start using it five milligrams a day. If you're not on magnesium, get yourself on magnesium, about 1,000 milligrams a day. Practice slow, deep breathing. I don't know if you've heard me talk okay. about this. Slow, deep breathing. Uh, I should add rhythmic breathing. This is really important when it comes to breathing. You want to make sure that your, bo- that your breathing is in a rhythm. The body loves okay. rhythm. Rhythm is extremely calming to the body. Non-rhythm or chaotic, uh, chaotic frequencies are very stimulating to the body. Uh, but uh, s- rhythms, like remember the old movies where they, they have the watch in front of somebody and, and you would look at the watch and it would go left and right and left and right and left yeah. and right. That, that, yeah. that, that, that was employing or, or leveraging the, uh, the relaxation properties of rhythm. So you want to make sure that you're breathing in a rhythm that is slow and deep. By deep, I'm talking about into the bottom of your belly. And by slow, I'm talking maybe 10 seconds in, inhale, and maybe 12 seconds exhale. You always want to exhale a little wow. bit longer than you're inhaling. So you may not be able to do it at first, but work yourself into 10 seconds on the inhale, 12 seconds on the exhale, deep and rhythmically, especially when you're okay. experiencing jitteriness or anxiety or the, or the PTSD. Another really wow. interesting strategy for falling asleep or for dealing with obsessive thoughts is to repeat a word. See, when when you repeat a word, you can't think. If you uh, repeat the same word, the body, the brain can't uh, repeat the same word over and over again and think at the same time. So if you say, wow. and it should be a nonsense word. You don't want it to be a word that has meaning. So it could be a gibberish word or it could be a word like the, just saying the, the, the. And if you do it right now, you'll notice you can't think and say the, the, the over and over again. That's a great, <laughs> right? can, you, can you know what I'm saying? Can you feel it now? If yeah. you just say, if yeah. you just repeat a single word over and over and over again, you'll find that you can, you're not going to be thinking, number one. So it'll help you with obsessive thoughts and it will also help you fall asleep because a lot of times we can't sleep because we're thinking so much. So simply by repeating a word and if you're trying to fall asleep, then you can do a combination of repeating a word with a rhythmic breathing. And then you'll get the benefits of the rhythmic breathing for relaxation and the benefits of this, this word strategy. I don't know what it's called. I kind of just made it up myself because I noticed that I, I couldn't think and, and, and repeat a word. Or you can repeat a, a string of numbers. You can go zero, zero, 
zero or zero one two. And if you do that over and over and over again, you'll find that you're not thinking as you're repeating those words. So that's a that's a non-nutritional strategy for helping deal with obsessive thoughts or to help you fall asleep. Hope that helps, Alan. Anything else you want to add? That is great. No, awesome. that is great. Thank you so much for your help, Ben. Have good, a wonderful day. To, you too, Alan. Good to talk to you, man. All right. Yeah, uh, right. Let's see. Let's move on to Jim. And oh, uh, let's see. Let's get Jim real quick. Carl, hang on. I'll get you before we finish. So don't go away. Uh, Jim, real quick. What's going on, my man? Jim? Got Jim? Jim, Jim? No, Jim. Are you there? Uh, I can't get you, Jim. I don't know if you're on. I can't hear you, buddy. All right. I'm going to let you go, Jim. Sorry about that. Uh, Carl, the truth raider. You get the last word, my friend. One, two, uh, excuse one, me. Two, one, two, three. <laughs> Did you like that, Carl? <laughs> yeah, me. interesting. <laughs> so, like, I think that's brain exercise and so on and so, 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 and so forth for, for a certain things and, and for memorization of things. I like to repeat things three times. Like some time I have to be somewhere, something I need to do, and that seems to help my cognition of memory of things repeating, that I need to do. Repeating things. Repeating yes. something. That way yeah. you, you have a, a, a memory that will extend from the short term to a little bit more of a memory in the long term. Yeah, you could do a memory trick if you're at a party and you want to remember people's names. You know how you sometimes really? you forget their names. Just repeat it three or four times That's back correct. to them as you're looking at their face or as yeah. you're looking at, at the, as you're looking in their eyes or looking at them, repeat their name. And that's a great way to remember their name. Absolutely. What's, what's going on, Carl? i got about a minute here, my friend. The right part of my neck, back, back of my neck, underneath the hairline, okay. there was a slight bump, slight okay. bump there. A little raise. When I squeezed it or rubbed it, it Push. grew into a golf ball, I mean, literally, a and golf ball-sized uh, mosquito bite. Interesting. No wound. No, you didn't get hit there or anything, I take it. Not that I that, know that's... of. And then it took a couple of days for it to, to, to relax and go down. It went down. That sounds like a lymphatic issue. Uh, okay. There's, there's a, a, a lot of concentration of lymph around that area. Not specifically in that area necessarily, but around that area. Whenever you get a bump like that, like sometimes you'll get it around your um, where the doctor squeezes for lymph nodes underneath your neck or sometimes in your groin area, that's a sign that the body is trying to eliminate something and, is cl and it's having a hard time eliminating it. Your lymph is clogged. We haven't okay. really talked about the lymph too much, although we probably should as we're talking about hormones because hormones can be eliminated through the lymph as well. Uh, when you've uh, got a lot of toxicity going on, the lymph can become congested, and this can show up in the skin, it can show up in the groin area, it can show up in the neck area, it can show up uh, around the shoulder, uh, under the armpits, uh, and that's a sign of liver toxicity or some kind of toxins that are clogging up the lymph. So a couple things that you want to do. Get on a rebounder, that can help. Moving your body, uh, hanging upside down on an inversion device, that can help. Moving your body can help, or uh, deep breathing techniques can help. Also lymphatic massage and lymphatic drainage can help but consider that to be a sign that there's some toxicity going on carl gotta let you go that's uh we're, we're just out of time apologize for that carl but thanks for your input i'm pharmacist ben you've been listening to the bright side we'll be back at you tomorrow we'll continue talking vitamin e hormone replacement therapy um, we'll talk about vitamin e insulin resistance and diabetes tomorrow as well thanks for listening friends have a wonderful beautiful spectacular day i'm pharmacist ben bye for now